Yo, I'm coming with the first jump shot video of the year. Now, I'm not gonna play with y'all, all right? The jump shots I drop, y'all know they have to be golden or else I wouldn't be making this video. Now, y'all been putting a lot of pressure on me, man. Y'all been telling, Agent, where's the jump shots at? Yo, we're three days in. I've been testing a ton, but I also had to badge grind and do attributes, so I haven't been finding a crazy amount of jump shots we're three days in. But luckily I found two. One for Prime, one for Park. And I want to share them with you because I know y'all trying to grind. And everyone's trying to find the jump shot that works. I got y'all with the Q and the waviest jump shot for both Park and Prime. Now listen up. If y'all new to the channel, of course be sure to subscribe. If y'all want to see more videos like this, I'm going to need this to hit 12,000 likes. Yo, for, for whatever reason, bro, it takes forever to just switch jump shots or go to the jump shot credit this year because you have to load up everything in the My Park lab, but it's truly a beautiful thing. It is. Amateur one base, Paul George released one, Lonzo released two. Now this jump shot's unlike anything I've ever tried at any 2K ever because Paul George previously was an atrocious release. But this year, I, yo, I gotta try it out again. They switched up a lot when it came to jump shots. That's a whole nother video. And the release speed is quick. So if you're 6'4 and under, keep that in mind because you also have very quick releases. This release only only works on the Pro-Am. You can try it on the park, but there's gonna be no cue. Now, this is how I release the ball. Now, y'all don't have to play like me, but it's the reason why I hit consistently and I finally found a jump shot on the Pro-Am and took a bunch, all right? And the park took even longer. Y'all won't believe how different this game feels than last year. It's taken a while to adjust. When you're shooting the ball, treat it as if it's a straight up Paul George release. When his head reaches the zenith, the top of the jump shot, and he's no longer escalating on his way up, release the ball every single time. So I tell y'all, don't look at the shot meter because the shot meter, especially this year, is more inaccurate than ever. Such a small percentage, you can't see your margin of error. I'm saying, look at your player. When he reaches the top with his head, release the ball. You could try it in park, but because there's more latency in park, the cue is thrown off. You can still maybe green it, especially if you're a rhythm shooter. That's just not the way that I like to play. I like having the consistency in a cue. So your whole square, he hits the top, release. Whole square, his head hits the top, release. Boom. The Lonzo does this wonders, because if you throw it all the way to the side and you make it straight up Paul George, it, why is it so harsh? Do you see it? The flick is harsh. There's no real cue for it, but you throw on that Lonzo. Lonzo is a better version of Stephen Curry from last year. And it just gives it that fluidity because Lonzo's a one motion shooter. One motion shooters, for the most part, they'll do a pretty decent job in pro -Am, So I felt like I could mix it in this release and I can get away with it. The release itself leans a decent amount. And maybe it's just the way 2K18 is this year, but you'll, you'll get the ball in a catch and shoot. And you'll have to stand there for an obnoxiously long period of time before you can release the ball. Or your player leans on his shot and the percentage is plummet. This is decent on moving shots when you're trying to fade. It's decent. It's not wavy, though. But where this release shines and what's maybe becoming a rarity in 2k18 is the green release window each release has a green release window there was a release I was trying earlier today there was 0% green window you could not hit a green on the release so much so that my player would shoot an all white and he would celebrate like he got a green if your player celebrates on all whites where he does a thing where he just turns around and does this shit or he throws his hands up or if he celebrates on an all white you have a garbage release period I just need y'all to know that because I had to move on from that release but this release here has a pretty wide window you just have to hit the cue and you'll be solid this one is the park jump shot this release actually also works decent on prime but the other one i mentioned is way better but this is the park release 100 the thing about park releases is you have to hit your cue and there has to because there's more latency on park there has to be a buffer that'll lead you to the green so i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly all right let me break it down like this let's say you start at zero percent you're trying to hit 100 percent to hit the green when you hit if you overshoot it you hit 112 it's a white if you undershoot it and you hit 98 it's a white with these park jump shots i specifically have to go out of my way to find a jump shot that'll hit 92 because the latency will carry it to that 100. So I'm really trying to find a release that has a buffer that it makes shooting a cue easy. I think I explained that correct. Anyway, amateur one base, James Harden release one, James Harden release two. Some of the OGs, some of the OGs on the channel are shaking their head right now, man. They know about this release because this was the exact same release. Keep in mind, amateur one is literally the same thing as high school one from last year. They just renamed it. This release right here is my OG release from 2K17. And trust me, I tried all my wavy releases from 2K17. This is the only one that translates. For the other ones, they destroyed base 49. That, sh that does not work anymore. Base 65 is I, but I, for so whatever reason, I prefer amateur one on the park. This was the release when 2K17 launched that for the first few months carried me over. And it's back. It's back in 2K18, man. And it makes me so happy to share with the world that 
for now. Until I do some more testing, and if y'all hit 12,000 likes, we'll do another video. This is the best park jump shot I've tested. And I've tested over 20 to 25. Not, not no 20 to 25 random jump shots or just one game with the jump shot. I mean, I test them to see the green window, to see if it leans, is it cool on moving shots? What's the cue for the jump shot? This is something I did for all the jump shots. And y'all know I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a craftsman with these jump shots. And I've been shooting blanks this year, man. I've been making releases with bases that look so solid, like I could definitely get a big green window on this release. And it turns out to be a dud or too slow or it feels totally different when it's latency involved. I don't know why it was on normal speed. Keep in mind, this release is on quick speed. I don't know what happened just there. Maybe I moved it and I didn't even notice. I don't wanna make this video too long. I'm gonna have a separate video talking about literally the best practices you can do to shoot and score the ball, but this is a specific video to jump shots if you're looking for a jump shot. I know y'all on your grind, you're looking for jump shots so you can start hitting some of your shots. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed again, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, man. Hey, it's the first jump shot video of the year. I'm gonna have a playlist full of these if we get to that point. I'm gonna be testing some more all the time. If y'all have any questions, tweet at me, Snapchat me. Actually, don't Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat like that no more. Tweet me uh, or leave a comment, either one. I'm out. Peace.